we're going to be building the S15's 13B with Vargas. If you remember the last time that we built an engine with him here, we were actually building this beauty right here. This is my first time ever powder coating an engine and it looks just incredible. And this was, you know, my sort of warm up for the S15 engine. So we built this one with Vargas last time and that engine is for the Street FC project that I really, really hope I get to jump back on soon. I got brand new thick boy plates. I've never bought like brand new rotary plates before. So this is a very, very exciting moment. And then we have everything else for the S15 set up on this table. There are a few differences from the Street FC and Vardis is gonna be here soon to help stack this stuff. However, as you can tell, they do not have any powder coating done to it yet. And Vardis is already on his way over here. I'm gonna get to prepping and figuring out what I'm gonna do for powder coat. Luckily, because these plates are brand new, the prep is going to be very minimal. I'm actually just going to wire wheel everything and then it should be good to go. And for the housings, just gonna throw those in the hot tank and probably wire wheel them as well. Everything's in really good condition. This is the only plate that is not brand new that's gonna need like a lot more love, but should be fine. This is definitely going to be way less prep than last time. and this is your vehicle's new best friend. This is basically like having a car mechanic and a personal assistant rolled into one. You're going to need to download the My Carly app and then get the Carly OBD2 device reader. And plug this little guy in to your OBD2 port. You wanna make sure your Bluetooth is on and then you'll be able to wirelessly connect. Then go ahead and enter all of your vehicle information and you are good to go. I decided to run a test on my Ram 3500. The diagnostics for my truck was run in under a minute. Two issues did pop up. The first one is just saying that the power input has not been consistent because last week I did find out that my radar was drawing power from the battery. So that is already solved. And the second one is just kind of calling me out at the moment because I am low on death fluid. So now I'm actually going to clear the codes. Carly can also give you vehicle customization controls for things like your lights, wiper sensitivity, and more. To try Carly for yourself, go to mycarly.com and use my code Colette15 for 15% off. Thank you to Carly for sponsoring two days video. Now let's get back to it. Because two of those plates are brand new, I am going to bake all of them in our powder coating oven to get any oils and contaminants out that were set in there because when you get brand new plates, they actually come from factory like coated in oil. So I'm gonna do that and then go check on the housings that should be in the hot tank and then prep those and probably just bake those as well to get anything out. Our housings are now prepped for powder coating, and that means they can now get ported before I do the final prep before we actually spray the powder. So let's go find Vargas. Vargas has arrived, and <laughs> yep. now we're doing some porting. I wanted you to talk a little bit more about the porting process, because I don't think we covered that a lot in the last engine build video. I don't think so. It's the same porting busy. though, right? Yeah, the same exact port. So we just got one of these pineapple templates. This is version three, so I've used this one before and it makes pretty good power. Nice and torquey, nothing too crazy. You know what time it is? Time to build some rotary engines, baby. <laughs> and then you use this, right? So you use templates. Pretty much leaves like an overlay so we can scribe it. So we put the template, scribe where we need to port, and then pretty much start chipping away at it. 
still time to build rotary engines. So Vardis, he did actually teach me some porting on the old Sailor 7 block, the one that we yeah. don't care as much about. But this is like my holy grail 13B. This mm -hmm. is going to be the engine. This doesn't have all the best stuff in it. And I didn't want to be the one porting it. So Vardis didn't do that first. Well, you and did build the rotors though. Hey, I built a rotor and a half. I looked at it, you only got three side seals left, actually. Yeah, there's, so a, there's just done. the other half of uh, the second rotor. Yeah. Damn, why you didn't call me out for being the one that built the rotor? See, if something goes wrong now, maybe yeah. that's the one part <laughs> that I did. <laughs> no, it'll be good, it'll be good. I feel like it took me the, you're almost done building the engine and I was still like building a rotor. So there's porting left to be done on yes. all the plates. The, I already started on this one right here. So this is pretty much what you start with a little bit of this stuff and then describe it let it dry and then we just put this template on it it's got two set, uh, pins to like set it in place and we just scribe the template so you can tell it's pretty much a pretty big difference on how it was stock and how it's going to be yeah and this is just this is so much about feel which is why i'm like scared to do it i want to i want to try porting a full engine that's not this important because yeah you're using the template to like give you the shape but then you're having to get that curve you gotta make it flow hand. this way you don't want to go too much because the side seals will fall out then you don't want to go too far this way and not high enough because they'll start clipping seals it'll start burning oil if you go this way all right so he's gonna finish up all the porting and then i have a lot of powder towing to do and then we're gonna get to stacking so oh yeah so good luck that's the shit you'll see in the plane right before it starts no that was the last graphic part <laughs> You want to know how in the swamp we are? Look at our bugs. Yeah. Oh my, that is, that's the biggest one I've seen. It's got no wings. Wait, so it has like, wait, be careful with him. I think they do bite too. Yeah. He's probably got some big pinches, yeah. dude. Oh, he's trying to get me. <laughs> what happened? His butt was opening up. His butt was yeah. opening up. <laughs> down the powder and for the color for this engine we're gonna match all of the pink on the subframes and do our prismatic powders sassy color alternated with a universe color that I have on my street FC engine that has like the rainbow color flip that's just absolutely incredible so here is my all-time favorite pink right now from prismatic powders sassy 20 minutes at 350 degrees and with how much you will see the subframes just by looking into the engine bay I think having the engine housings and front cover be that same pink is really just going to tie it all together. So I'm really, really excited to get this on the engine. And I'm going to start with the front cover because to me, this is the most important piece. Realistically, you will see this when all the accessories and everything are installed. You'll see the front cover the most. So I'm going to do this by itself, really take my time and get it right. I fully prepped our housings and now I'm going to preheat these as well and then get some color on them. This is also what's going to be our Prismatic Powders Sassy Pink. The 
color difference from when it's fresh out of the oven to when it's cooled off is insane. I actually do want to find a power though that is this like purpley pink because I do really like it. But when this cools down, they will be the same color, I promise. <laughs> Finally, the plates are done being taped up. I forgot just how tedious and long that takes. This is the aftermath of my taping area, but these are finally done and I'm definitely going to reheat these guys for a lot longer than I did the housings. And these also take so much longer to uh, get up to temp because they are cast and way thicker. I'm getting a little delusional. It is very late. I'm gonna get this done. And for all of the plates, we're gonna be going with prismatic powder prismatic universe. It is so good. That is what I have on the other engine paired with the neon yellow. So on this one, it's gonna be paired with the neon pink, which is sassy. It's definitely one of my favorite colors. Prismatic universe and prismatic cosmos are very, very similar, but I really, really like the universe one. It's slightly more charcoal than like a deep black, like the cosmos, and it still looks so good. This is before baking. Shimmer. It's stacking time almost and everyone's here. It's a party and it is definitely not 2 a.m. Oh, it's 2.08. <laughs> it's 2.08. It's 2.08 a.m. It's almost stacking time. We're pushing through. Another budget build. It was good luck last time, so we're gonna continue uh, the now tradition. Oh wow, that's really satisfying. Yo, Lee, you taking notes? Uh, well, no, mine's got built before yours, so I'm not worried. <laughs> The stacking has begun. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Don't fall off the bucket, bro. How do I get blue grease on Contact. And the stream, this stream's getting. This stream's getting real weird. That's it? Huh? Hey, Lisa, you know what it's like? <laughs> He's finessing. Because this one piece. Push that one down. Push it down like a man. <laughs> All right, lined up. <laughs> <laughs> Can you sponsor me on the two rotor, bro? That's it. Yeah. If it turns, I did a good job. That's how it goes. Yup. Wow, so beautiful. Y'all see Colette camera work, guys? Look at that. Oh yeah, she got the camera work. The production. Thank you, Vargas. Yeah. She's beautiful. I did not have an oil pump, so yeah. just gotta get one of those, slap that on, then we put the front cover on, and then engine number two done. I absolutely love it. My Vargas the best. Bringing all the rotaries alive over here. I cannot wait to do this in the S15.